What's up guys, it's Bone with Brown here, um, creative director of BB Apparel. Um, I'm here to answer a few questions from our common brands. Um, so let's get into it. That's a good question, you know. Um, he's not an influencer per se, but I'd love to collab with Skepta, man. I think that'd be cool, I think that'd be lit. I think he definitely suits the brand. Um, and yeah, man, he'd be, he'd be sick to to um to work with definitely definitely what they're getting is a quality product we pride ourselves with, with quality um quality is key i think with our teas especially um we produce a, a a quality product every single time um an embroidered finish and a printed finish if we're going um putting putting the 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 prints on the back um but yeah, we're just just a quality product more than anything. That's the most important thing, I think. I think when you put on a t-shirt, um, it should feel that top quality straight away, even after a few washes as well. So I think that's what we that's what we pride ourselves on, definitely. You know what? I'd like to work with someone like Kanye West. I think his mind, I think he has a great mind, and that's somebody who I'd like to work with. I know he's he's still here today, um, but yeah, definitely that's somebody who I think would be lit. I think it would be sick to work with. Traps has a brand that I've I've liked for a number of years, man. Um and I think we we mesh well together as well. I think um both of our cultures are sort of similar as well. So I think they'd be sick to work with, they'd be dope. Um I think they have so many cool designs and stuff like that. And I think we have some cool designs um coming forward in the future as well, and I think maybe we could do something together. That'd be cool, that'd look sick, so Probably trap star. It's crazy because it sort of fell on my lap. Um, to start with, um, I'm a boxer. Um, so one of my, my friends who is now um, our graphic designer and chief brand officer um, decided to make me a logo. Um, made me a logo and he sort of photoshopped it onto um, a picture of myself and my coach. Um, I put it on social media, put it on Instagram and stuff, and people seem to like it. They start, seem to like the logo um, on on a T-shirt that I was wearing and a T-shirt that my, my coach was wearing at the same time as well. So people are like, oh, are you going to bring up T-shirts? What are you going to do? I had no idea <laughs> how, to, how to get it started. So I just decided to make some samples. I uh, made some samples and it came back. They came back looking good, looking decent. Um, and it sort of just went from there. Um, made some samples, a lot of my friends bought some, um, we started to make a website, um, we started to come up with new designs and new ideas, so it sort of almost just like, almost just fell on my lap, um, so it was, it was, ama it was, it was amazing, it was, I think it was a gift, it was um, a blessing from God for sure, just sort of something that just came, came out of nowhere, so yeah, that's how, that's how it started, that's the truth. I don't think I'll feel like we've ever accomplished a lot and until I don't think until ever. I feel like you can always improve. I'm never somebody that can that sort of rest on my laurels and think, okay, we've done this, that's enough or I think we can always, always improve. I think um my ultimate goal for us is to be the number one streamer brand on the market for sure. Um but also to create a platform and create a brand that also gives back um, goes back not only to um, to people within our country, within the UK, but across the world, um, and less um, and less fortunate and, and less um, developed countries as well. So overall, for the brand, for me, our ultimate goal is to to be in a position where we can give back. And if we can do that all the time um, and create a foundation off the base of something like that, for me, that would be that would be my goal. First factor I'd say is hard work. Um, I think you've got to work hard in anything that you do, and this is um, no different. So hard work, I think, is is an is a is an important factor when attempting to build a successful brand. Responding well to critique. Um, people critique it, or people say you should do this. Not just to turn a blind eye to it, but also ask questions as to why they think you should do this or why you should do that. Just in order to to get a better understanding. Just to never give up attitude more than anything. Do you know what I mean? There might be times where you feel like quitting or there might be times where you feel like, ah, 
do I really want to do this? But just continue to put to 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 keep going and persevere. I think is is extremely is extremely important for sure. Um, and I I went on to that as well. Um, and also believing in yourself, man. I think that's impossible. That's essential to a to a successful brand. Believing yourself, believe, believing in your own idea, believing in what you're doing can potentially help as well. So. Uh, and, and progress your brand, I think that's highly, highly important. Our slogan is um, quality is key. Um, and as I said before, you know, quality is at the heart of everything we do, in particular with our teas. Um, so quality is just something that we pride ourselves on, man. So that's why that's our slogan. Twitter would be dope. Um, just because of the scenery, um, because of some of the um, the places you could go, um, just yeah, just everything in general about Tokyo, man. I think it just looks so sick out there. So I think that would be that would be a class place um, to to film to to do a photo shoot for sure. It's hard because you have to sort of pick people that you believe. Um, um, your audience will like and also that suit your brand. Um, it is tough, but I tend to just go for people that I think would look look good in the tees, definitely. Um, and yeah, I look at some of their previous work and if they actually do modeling and stuff like that. Some some people, some of the models that we, we chose, and one of our particular models was actually a stylist. She did a bit more than before, but she's actually predominantly a stylist, but I just thought she'd be dope for, for our shoe and she turned up and she, and she was, she was, she was sick, man. So, yeah, I think it's just sort of, I think I have, to have a little bit of an eye for it. I'd say a little bit of an eye for it. It was actually my friends. Actually, a lot of my friends that placed the first few orders, which was like, which was sick, man. I just seen it come through like, rah. I should go order, then trying to, then sorting out, packaging it and whatnot. Yeah, it was sick. It was cool. It was a good feeling, man. It was a really good feeling. So all together, um, there's four of us. Um, there's myself as a creative director. There's our technical director, Olivia Bass. Um, there is our chief brand officer, which is Jamie, who's in charge of design and, and branding. And then there's our chief consultant officer, which is Anton. Um, and we're all friends, you know what I mean? We're all, we're all good friends. Um, we all have the same sort of passion. We all fight for greatness and we all wanna do great things for the brand. Um, and it was initially myself that started the idea. But when I pitched it to them and spoke to them about it, they were all on board. And we've just been working together for the last, probably for the last four or five months since the start of the year, really. Um, so yeah, man, it's been, it's been dope. It's been a great journey. And we just hope to continue, continue to great things, man. That's it. So thank you guys for having me. Thank you for um, the questions. It's been cool, it's been real. It's been good. Drop us a follow um, at Big Bones Apparel. Thank you guys so much, man. I appreciate it.